bad day because, well, so I basically wanted to make a video explaining to you the new-ish COPA rule, COPA rules, however you say it, and how it will affect my channel and what this means for you guys as YouTubers or just as viewers who like to watch kid-friendly channels and kid-friendly content. So, this affects a lot of content creators. And with these new rules, YouTube is having to change a lot. And I mean a lot. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about three specific things. What are the new rules? Who will they impact? And what am I going to do personally with my channel? You've probably already seen a few videos like this, especially if you're a content creator and want to know what will happen to your channel. But in case this is new to you, I will go over the new rules quickly. So basically, the rules go like this. YouTube is forcing every YouTuber to put their video in one of two categories. Either it is made for kids, or it is made for adults. Well, the problem with this is that these categories are very broad, but luckily YouTube helped us out a little bit by giving us more specific ways to identify if our content is made for kids or not. Some of the things you should consider when figuring out if your content is made for kids or made more for adults are the subject matter of the video. Oh, and I'm getting these from the YouTube help page. So the subject matter of your video, example, educational content, for preschoolers or just kind of educational in general. So educational content, whether children are your intended or actual audience. So even if children are not your intended audience, if they are the majority of your audience, that counts as made for kids. So like, for example, if there was this gamer who did like this video games and I don't know, like say they're intended, like when they made the channel, they weren't, they didn't mean for the channel to be for kids ages 13 and under, but that's the majority of their viewers. So their channel would be made for kids, which is a lot of channels out there. Whether the video includes child actors or models. So if you, it's a family channel and they, have, they show children, then that would be considered made for kids. Whether the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated cartoons or cartoon figures. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand, which this one I don't really understand personally, because I think almost every single, like, almost every single YouTuber that I know of anyway, yeah, they're going to make their content understandable for kids because they know that that's the majority of their audience whether the video includes activities that appeal to children such as play acting simple songs or games or early education so that kind of goes back to the very first one the subject matter of the video educational content um so yeah there's that <laughs> and then whether the video includes songs stories or poems for children so stories, I think that would include audiobooks. So if someone does, like for example, if I read one of the American Girl Ball audiobooks, I'm almost positive they would count that. So yeah, <laughs> but some of these topics are very broad and it can be hard to tell if your channel falls under one of them specifically. But if your channel falls under any of them, they count it as kid co kids content. For me, one of these categories ruled out my entire channel. That one is whether the video included includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, and American Girl Dolls is a toy. So, yeah. <laughs> and that includes animated characters or cartoon figures. So, this includes all age YouTubers. If you show an AG doll, that's a toy. If you make a stop motion, I think they would count that as animation. Not to mention the fact that the main characters of stop motions are dolls. So my channel would be made for kids. And I'm not going to say that it isn't because YouTube can find you a lot of money if they see that you are purposely changing your channel to made for adults when it obviously isn't. So you might be wondering what happens if your channel is made for kids. 
So there are several things that will happen, but the three biggest are that YouTube will stop showing personalized ads on your channel. If you are monetized, which means that you get money for every ad that is being viewed on your channel, then that cuts off 90% of the money that YouTubers would make. But luckily that doesn't affect me and probably never will because <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get that many subscribers. But if I do, then it might not even be worth it to be monetized, we'll see. But sadly, the second one hits my channel pretty hard. The second thing that happens is that the comments will be disabled. Comments is one of the things I love about my channel. And without them, it would just be a lot harder for me to be encouraged to keep going. But luckily for me, YouTube also allows a third option, which is I would like to select different answers for each of my videos. This is helpful for me because I can make certain videos that don't violate the rules, therefore selecting them as not made for kids, specifically, and allowing comments, so that every once in a while I can hopefully still talk to you guys. And also, while we're talking about it, I made a Google document for every AGTuber or anyone who watches AGTube and wants to stay connected with their favorite YouTubers. I'll leave the link in the description down below so that you guys can check it out. Basically, how it works is that if you are an AGTuber and you have an email that you're willing to share, you can put it in the document along with your channel name. And then, when the comments go away, we will still have a way to be connected and comment by emailing. Anyway, now onto the third thing that will happen to channels that are made for kids. When I or anyone else with kid-friendly content posts a video, you will not be able to get notification that that video was posted. So because of that, I'm going to try to stick to posting on Saturday, with a specific schedule being Saturday. So please check my channel on Saturdays and there should be something new for you to watch. But unless you actually click on my channel, you will have no other way to know that I posted something new. Unless it's one of those not kid friendly videos. It will still be kid friendly, it just won't have any of the things that would suggest it to be made for only kids, if that makes sense. I'm not going to be posting anything that would not be appropriate for kids, so there's no need to worry about that. So please check my channel often. Well, since I have kind of been talking about what I plan on doing throughout this whole video, I'm kind of going to make this last part short. So in summary, I'm asking you guys to please check on my channel often, and whenever you have time, please send me an email. I love hearing from you guys, and it always makes me smile. I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon, so for now, there's no need to worry about that. Please add your email to the document so that we can continue to be a connected AJTube community. And these new rules start on December 10th. I thought they started in January, but apparently they start sooner than that. So for now, just enjoy the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, and I hope this made sense. If not, Smiles AG did a video like this, and sh I think she explained it very well. I will have the link in the description as well. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye for now!